Matt Lennon uh, in a radio. Um, can you tell us about yourself and what you do? Sure. Uh, my name is Chris O'Sara. I work for North Kitsap Fire and Rescue. Um, I started in the program in 02. Started as a volunteer resident with them and had the fortunate opportunity to become a career member for this department and this wonderful organization. Um, where, what did you think about being a fireman when you were my age? Like, Just like every kid wanted to be a fireman. You um, wanted to be a fireman? Yep. I wanted to do something where I knew I could make a difference. Um, with my people skills and who I am as a person, I thought many people uh, benefit from it. Um, I try to take care of people before myself, and this profession offers that. Um, how long did you go to college for, and where did you go to college at? I went for three years. I went a year at TCC, went away from it, joined the program, got hired, and then went to Olympic College to obtain a fire science degree. So I had a lot of my credits transfer over from TCC over to Olympic. What does your family think about you being a fireman? My family loves it. Um, there is, you know, downside to being a firefighter. You work a lot of hours, you're away from your family, but you're also there a lot of the times also. There's some times where you have to work holidays and you're away from them, but they understand it. Um, but they love it. It's the best job in the world. You get time with a great group of people and you also have time with your family. And it's a give and take, just like any occupation or any love that you have with anyone. Does your family think this job is dangerous? Yes. Yes. They do, but they understand what comes along with that danger. Um, but they understand how much training I've put into the profession to protect myself and my crew and the people I work with to make sure they're safe. Um, the job is dangerous, but we do everything we can to be safe for this profession whether it be training in the classroom or training in the field. Uh, thank you for coming out. Um, can you tell me what your name and what you do for your job? My name is Nick Allpress and I am currently an intern with North Kitsap Fire and I also work a part-time job as an equipment operator. Okay. Um, what, what did you think about being a fireman when you're my age? Um, my brother was a fireman, or my brother is a fireman for the city of Vancouver, so when I was your age, that's when he got hired. And the thought had crossed my mind, but I was in love with, I went to school to be a diesel mechanic, so originally I went to do that and eventually found myself here. And it's a very rewarding and I love it. Uh, thank you for letting me interview you. Can uh, you start by saying your name what you do? Sure. Uh, my name's Tom Curley. I'm uh, the volunteer coordinator here at North Kitsap Fire and Rescue. I've been here about 20 years. And uh, I help train and manage the respond from home volunteers as opposed to the interns. So it's a little different um, category of volunteer. We only have a handful. We have six folks who are respond from home at the moment. So, uh, and we all drive uh, water tankers. We have three, and we call them tenders. Uh, we have three in the district, kind of spread out at different stations. So different guys respond different tenders. Um, I respond this one because I live in Suquamish. And there's another guy in Suquamish that also responds this. So, really. It's um, doing something that is not only useful in the community, but you're part of the family here, and it's a real team. So, uh, yeah, it's it's very rewarding. When do you think you retire? Mm, when I when I feel like I can't be safe driving this truck. So whenever that is, hopefully we have. There's a guy in Paulsbo who is doing this, and he's I'm going to say 80. Holy moly, I know. And he is really good. Think of the years of experience he has. He's been doing it since like the early 70s. So he is just a fount of experience. And, um, and he's, he's safe. He's good. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay, you bet.